What's going on guys? So before we start this video, I wanted to give you guys a quick story time. Lauren, you're part of this story too. So you want to come on in and give your storytelling to the crowd? Hey. <laughs> it's Lauren guys, look! Everybody likes Lauren. Thumbs up for Lauren. Well, because she's such a great girlfriend to me. I got Nick a gift. I had said about that I wanted a good watch. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. a nicer watch for just, yeah. you know, going out. So I was looking online and I came across this Vincero Collective brand and I really liked the price point because as a college student, and still wanting to do stuff for Nick, I wanted something that was not only good quality, but the price point was great because a lot of brands out there, you're paying for the name, you're not necessarily paying for the quality. So we gave this a shot, got this for him, looks great on him, goes with everything, he wears it casually, he wears it out to dinner. Cause you know, it's not all about the cars and the racing, you know, we do go out, we do have a life and uh, we go out downtown and stuff and have drinks, have dinner together and I wanted a nice watch to go with some stuff that I wear, so she, I left it up to her to do it. It's, it's like the perfect all around watch and it fits him really well too. Yeah, I've worn it in other videos and I've actually had some guys asking me about it, like what, what watch is that, you know, this, this and that and where did you get it, so um, here's where the cool part comes in. The company saw that too, they were one of the people that actually saw my video and they sent me another watch. So, um, I already opened this up, sorry I know about it, but um, I figured I would just kinda like un unbox it for you guys and unpackage it. Hi, Guitar Armageddon. Huge fan of your YouTube channel, that's pretty cool. And uh, we noticed that you've been wearing one of our watches in your recent videos. Since you seem to like our watches so much, we wanted to send you another one and propose a collaboration on one of your videos. Maybe someday, this is the funny part, maybe someday if I find myself in your area of the country, I can ride shotgun in one of your Camaros. <laughs> Jared from Vincero Collective. So, Jared um, and Vincero decided to send me my second choice. The one, the one that I looked on their website and I was like, you know, the second choice. So this one is a totally black, what is that, the croc, like a croc, like, like a leather, croc, croc like band? Like a croc print. Yeah, with a really awesome blue face. Mm -hmm. And on the back there you can see it's got the Vincero logo kind of stamped on the leather. When she told me what she picked, it's obviously, you know, Lauren, how much did you pay for this, you know? So when she told me, I was like, oh. I didn't think the price was going to be that low when she told me, so that's that's really cool. Good quality doesn't have to be an arm and a leg. So I have now talked with Vincero and we partnered up and they have provided me with a discount code for you guys, NickZL1, so you can go on Vincero Collective. I'll have the website below in the description. You can view my homepage on their site and you can see all the watches on there and we'll be doing more work with them and I'm pretty excited about it. Like I said, the company is great. The watch, the product is great. So anyways guys, I'm very happy with it. If you guys are in the market for a new watch, hit up Vincero Collective, check out their website and be sure to use my discount code to get 15% off. All right guys, enjoy the video. So we are here at Maple Grove Raceway and I am in the tech lanes waiting to tech my car in and get everything checked, all my safety equipment. And then they are going to begin the roll races. This is Beast Coast Shootout. And I've done this event um, twice last year they had it. They have it basically in uh, kind of beginning of summer and then and then the beginning of fall, twice a year. So um, I did it twice last year. It's a good time. I had, had some fun and uh, see what the car is going to do this year with uh, close to a thousand horsepower. The weather is great. It is about, I don't even know, maybe 50 degrees out right now and uh, the IATs are extremely low, so this is awesome. Uh, we just have to worry about traction issues because as you guys know, the colder it is, the more horsepower you're gonna make, the lower the IATs, but the uh, you know colder the track is and the less traction you have. So I'm running my new tire setup now. I'll show you guys that here in a second. Big shout out to RPM down in North Carolina and John Doc for uh, sending me those tires quick and easy. So here's the new tire setup on the car. I decided to go with a radial uh, instead of a bias ply. Um, went with Mickey Thompson. It's just the regular Mickey Thompson Sportsman uh, 28 by 6 front runners on my uh, 17 by 4.5 inch uh, Raystar 95 recluse wheels. These are the same wheels I ran at the drag strip uh, basically every time I've run uh, this year. And then on the rear I have another a matching Mickey Thompson uh, ET Street R. They don't make the ET Street Pro in uh, a 17 inch wheel setup. It's the ET Street R. I think it's the same composition, just this a little more like 
the tread lines in the tire. It's pretty much a cheater slick, you know, a radial. So uh, it is DOT compliant, so you can run these on the street. This is the first time using them. I heard a lot of good things about the tire, so hopefully this will work well. I think with the radial, I'm gonna get a faster um, top end. It's just a faster tire. I'm hoping that I'm gonna hook as well as I did with the with the bias ply slicks. We're gonna run these at the uh, YouTube call out coming up here in October 28th. But I do have my Hoosier slicks that if if I have any issues with traction, I'll throw them on at the track and you know I know how they perform. So now we're just waiting for the bottle to heat up. It is kind of cold out, so it might take a little while for this to heat up. I'm not gonna make any passes with the bottle until I race the pro uh, bracket, which is like me and like four other guys, I think. So I'm only gonna get like three runs out of that bottle. On the roll race, you know, you start at the 60 foot mark on the track, okay? You start at the 60 foot and you have to start at 45 miles an hour plus or minus five. And then you basically roll race all the way to the end of the track. I don't know if you guys can see that, but past the board there that shows your time in mile per hour, you have like some checkered flags that are set up past that and I believe it's 1500 feet. So it's a little longer than a quarter mile but you also start, you know, at the 60 foot mark and not at, at the uh, at the staging lane, so, or the staging light. Fastest I've seen today is uh, 9.5 at 159. We'll see how we do. So we made three passes, uh, solid, 144, 145 mile an hour. They're not giving us time slips, so um, I don't know what I ran until I get to the end and ask somebody here that watched the race. Good thing my dad's the man behind the camera when I'm racing. Um, we're gonna throw a GoPro though, probably on the exterior somewhere, because we're gonna race the, uh, the pro bracket, which is what I was explaining to you guys earlier, and we're waiting till they said they were gonna do it after lunch. I just grabbed something to eat, so. Right now we're waiting for the car to cool down a little bit. These things are nice to have because you can tell how hot things are and basically how much they're cooling down, you know? So as you guys can see in that last run, the uh, red GTR next to me got an extreme jump, which technically he shouldn't have. Uh, they're trying to keep the cars together. I was actually the lead car. The car on the left is the lead car, and they set the pace for basically the roll race. And uh, if you don't stick with them and you get ahead or get behind, it, it, the race is uh, pretty much you don't qualify. It's just null and void. So if he wants to play that game and jump me, well, I'll jump him this time. We can play that game all day. So that's what I'm gonna do in this X race. So that last pass uh, with that GTR, same guy I raced me before, uh, not bad, you know, 
I pretty much killed him in the eighth mile, and then after that, them turbos on his car started to kick in, just like is expected. He's way behind, and then as soon as that, as soon as them turbos kick in, like all that boost is, he's like gone. So that's how the cars work. You know, this car's set up for the quarter mile for the most part. It's real strong out of the hole. I love my American muscle, my supercharged blown V8. So speaking of American muscle, we're gonna race Steve Fast in his six gen SS, and should be fun. the race and Steve uh, what do you what do you think about that last race you almost had me do you it was pretty close I gotta say until I saw the laundry in front of me and that, yeah, I just gave you I gave you my dirty laundry yeah. I don't like washing clothing either I give it to my girlfriend how much power are you running this Steve it's uh, approximately about 470 to the wheels I have basically half or a little less than half the power of this car right here. Uh, yeah plus you're 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 a manual too manual transmission yeah you're a manual so uh, yeah Worked well for Steve, even on stock tires, right? Everything is stock as far as the wheel package goes. Actually, it did really well. It, was, it didn't spin out or anything like that. I felt really in control. And yeah, that's good. Actually, a really good time. Good, awesome. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with the results here with my car as well. I figured I'd pick up about 15 miles an hour in the with the nitrous is kind of what I did at the quarter mile and down the drag strip in a quarter mile 13 20 race so like figured 160 around there and that's pretty much what I did so uh, car ran good you know off of just a 150 shot what we'll be doing with the car then is bumping it up to a full 200 shot 100% uh, for the uh, YouTube call out race on October 28th YouTube call out October fast the only thing we need to do now is uh, purge the nitrous one hook all of that Turn the system on right like that and purge it and then we wait for that to go all the way to zero And there we go now that that's purged we can unhook the line from the bottle and There we go Because it's technically illegal to have this hooked up while you're driving on the street Got the shoot all pack nice. That's probably one of my better pack jobs. The one before actually was, but I didn't film that, but I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of this and it's working out pretty well. Alrighty guys, so we're back at home now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Car got home in one piece. You know, I love driving this car to the track as is, then racing it and then driving it as is back home and just parking in my garage. It's, it's really, it's cool. Like, you know, I, I was talking to you guys about possibly getting a, um, an open bed trailer, basically towing my car with my uh, truck. And I think I'm gonna be doing that next year. I'll probably get a trailer for it because I'll be doing more racing events than I was this year with the car. But you know, it's just cool to drive it to and from the track. The tire setups on the car, don't have to change nothing out. Like, it just runs and uh, it's reliable and it's, it's, <laughs> it's made it this far, so. It's pretty cool that this car has taken so much of a beating and is just like taking it and takes it. It's like, give me more, give me more. So I'm going to do that. Like I said, we're going to give it a 200 shot. Try and push the limits of this car, break that record, set the par, move on, put it away for the winter, move on to the 2017 ZL1 and see what we can do with that car. So before we end this video, I would like to give a very big shout out again to Vincero Collective. Please check their website out. I'm very excited to be working with them and partnering up with them with their watches. Uh, great quality. You'll have to check them out. Remember, you guys will get 15% off if you enter the code. I'll have all of their information below in the description as well as all of my social media. Get ready for YouTube call out Oktoberfest coming October 28th. It's a Saturday. All that info will be below in the description as well. You can check out the Facebook event that I have there. Join it and we'll keep you up to date on everything on that event had a great time today hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're coming by for the first time and have a great day